Hi guys, this is Sylvia again. I just wanted to make a quick video um, because it's an important topic for intact boys is the proper care of intact boys, meaning boys who aren't circumcised. As you know, I'm a nurse and I've heard a lot of stories of boys being injured because of imp improper care. Um, and I've also seen a few that were actually harmed because of improper care. So anyways, basically with an intact boy, all you do is clean the outside only and that's it, nothing else. You don't have to do anything special. Um, it's no harder than caring for a finger, although fingers are actually harder to care for because you've got to trim the fingernails. But anyways, um, the reason why it's so important to just leave it be and clean the outside only is that with uh, babies and young boys, the foreskin is adhered tightly to the penis, just like your fingernail is adhered to your finger. And you wouldn't want to try to pull this back and rip it not only would it be painful um, but there's no reason to clean underneath um, because it's it's adhered tightly there's no reason to try to clean underneath and so it's the same thing with intact uh, boys it's the foreskin is very tightly adhered and it seals out pathogens it's designed to be like that sort of like how baby kittens eyelids are sealed shut when they're newborns to seal out any bacteria and to protect their eyes that's the same kind of concept as what is going on with young boys and each attempts to try to retract and clean are actually damaging. It causes tearing of the tissues, can cause micro tearing and scarring later on. It can introduce bacteria underneath of there and also can lead to yeast issues. Now, once a boy gets older, usually around puberty age, then they can start to retract it themselves and clean underneath only with water no soap and the reason why we only use water is because it's a mucous membrane just like inside of your eyes or in you know for females in the vagina their mucous membranes soap is damaging it's irritating and can lead to all sorts of other um, infections such as yeast issues because it disrupts all the um, natural flora and it's also quite painful too so that's the quick and dirty um, how to care for intact boys and babies. Super easy. Um, just make sure that you always are aware of this when you go to doctor's appointments or if your baby ever has to be in the hospital because some healthcare providers unfortunately have the old Victorian era uh, mindset that you have to clean or retract by a certain age, but no, it's a completely, I mean, every mammal is born with this body part. It's super easy to care for. You shouldn't have to worry about it or have any kind of concerns that they're not retractable at a certain age and definitely no worries about cleaning underneath because that's not even, you know, like I said, it's just not a concern because it's um, tightly adhered and it's self-cleaning with young boys. So anyways, have a great day and I'll upload some more videos hopefully on some more holistic health issues. But I just, since I've seen boys damaged from this um, and because of this, um, I just wanted to share this. So take care.